Now in this video we're going to apply some shading to these slabs, similar to what we did in previous videos, but we'll take it a little further. We're going to be using the smooth render, and we need to switch back with some forms between the smooth render and the wireframe. Now it's a little tedious to keep using this tool to do that. So my suggestion is you add both of these display modes to function keys. And I'm going to show you what I've done. Workspaces, function keys. What I'm using is F5 for wireframe. The shortcut for that is change view wireframe. And I'm using F6 for change view smooth. So now I can switch back between wireframe and smooth very quickly. I already have the F4 to rotate view from cursor. So if you want to do that, go right ahead. Now, when I press F6, I have a shaded view and F5 gets me back to wireframe. And you'll be doing this a lot, switching backwards and forwards as you work, because you will tend to work in wireframe, but check your drawings in shaded. Now let's go to the next step and add some lights. We'll go to tools and right down to the bottom, visualization. Go to open this as a toolbox over the top of that one. So that one's there. The toolbox I want is the lights manager. Now you can get at this in other ways. You could, for example, go to settings, rendering, light manager. It's far easier to float this visualization toolbox, which you'll be using a lot of, by the way, in much later videos. So I'm interested again in this lights manager. So let me click on that. And here we see the light manager dialog box. Now, by default, you're likely to see the ambient, the flash bulb, and the solar all on. Solar might be off, but if it's off, turn it on. Just double click it. I've just turned it off, but you can click it again, double click, and it will turn on. You can also turn it on here as well. I'm interested right now in the ambient, the flash bulb, and the solar. Don't turn the sky dome on, this will have a minimal effect on this drawing. Now ambient is the overall brightness of a scene. It's light coming in from the surroundings of the scene. A bit like standing outside, the light that you see is essentially ambient light, unless you're looking at sunlight directly. Flash bulb is what it sounds like. It's the flash bulb of the camera. And solar is sunlight, which we can control quite nicely. So start with ambient. We need to change the view to shaded. So F6 at my keyboard. And what I'm going to do, select everything, change the color. And now I have a yellow dog. We can now experiment with the lighting here. On its own, I can change the values with the slider. And you won't see great changes at this point. Flash bulb, same thing. You won't see massive changes on its own. But if I turn solar off and go back to ambient, and you'll start to see some significant changes in how this thing looks. Not very nice, actually, if you do it this way. And flash bulb gets brighter as we go further down the scale. No definition at all. So normally you'd use either solar on its own or mix with ambient and flash bulb, which we're going to do. So we're going to turn on solar again. I want you to go to solar position first. And here in the two boxes, make sure that you have type as direction, not time and location, direction. And here you can physically change the location of the sun in relation to our object. So we can raise the angle of the sun. And we can change the location of the sun in terms of angle. And as you change, you should see changes happening in the drawing as the sun is rotated around the object. Now, in general, the location is probably about best there. And perhaps drop that down just a little bit to get a little more light beneath the object. The small view window down below gives you an indication of the sun effect, although it's not particularly effective. It doesn't really change with the display. So I hardly ever look at that. Don't worry about volume effects or expert. We'll get to all of these in much, much later videos when we start looking at photorealistic rendering. 
up here we have a slider for the intensity of the sun, which we can change, but it doesn't have a huge effect on our drawing because of the other two inputs. Last thing to look at is the brightness, which is an overall view brightness. It's not actually a light, it merely changes the brightness of the view. So if I change this, you'll see that the overall brightness changes quite significantly. Once you've got the basic three inputs set, you can then make a fine adjustment using the brightness slider. So please experiment with the lighting settings. Please experiment with placing more slab solids. Try working with orthogonal off to see what that does and try different axis dimensional entry and see how that works.